Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Meyer Makes. Today we're going to make a fun and kind of stylish chicken treat hanger that you can hang in your coop. The supplies you need to make this hanger are really simple. You're going to need some cord, so we're using macrame cord today, and you're going to need about 15 feet of it. So this is great if you have some extra cord laying around. You're also going to need a tape measure or a ruler to help you measure. You're going to need some good scissors. You're going to need some sort of clip to hang up your hanger. So I'm using a kind of a D-ring type clip here, but you can use whatever clip you have on hand. You're also going to need some sort of lighter to finish the edges of your hanger. And that's pretty much it. This is such a simple project. Our first step is we're going to go ahead and cut up our macrame cord. For the hanger that I'm making, I cut my cord to length at about six feet. And the really cool thing about this project is that you can make this as big or as small as you'd like. You just want to remember when you're cutting your cord to length that you're going to be folding the cord in half. So if you want a really big hanger, then you're going to want to cut that closer to eight feet because when you fold it in half, it's going to be four feet. I'm keeping mine at about the six foot length because I'm going to be using my hanger for apples and lettuce, romaine lettuce. So I cut four pieces. Another cool thing about this is that you can make your weave on your hanger as tight as you'd like. So in my picture here, I did three cords, which would have been six strands. And for the one we're doing today, I'm going to do four cords, which is going to give me eight strands to work with and give it a little bit of a tighter weave. Now we need to attach all of our pieces of our cord together in the center so we can get started knotting up our treat hanger. So we're taking one of our cords here, we're gonna grab our first piece and we're going to fold it in half, like I've done here. We're actually going to make a little bit of a slip knot here. So I'm gonna fold it like this. So you can see I've kind of crossed over there, hopefully you can see that, like that. I'm gonna reach into this loop and I'm going to pull up a loop. So it's like this. And it's called the slip knot because we can slide this up and down and tighten it as we need. I'm going to grab my other cords and I'm going to wrap them around this loop here. There's all different ways to make this hanger and there's all different ways to do the centers. I found that this was the easiest way to make our center. I'm gonna set that down for a second. Let me grab another one and I fold it in half so it's even. I'm gonna go in our loop here. We're gonna put this in, and so I'm going up, and I'm going to pull this through, like so, make it nice and tight, just like that. So you wanna make sure that when you're doing your wrapping piece here that they all look the same. So make sure that if you come up through the center and you wrap over, you do that on all the pieces. We have two more to add into here. And there we go. So we have all three on here. And then we're just going to pull our slip knot here and tighten everything so it's a nice compact circle in the middle here. And when I pulled that piece right here, so this was the loose piece here, it tightened everything up and it all looks really nice in the center here. Our next step is we have to start knotting. So I've taken our piece here and I've laid it down. I've actually put the knots facing down and I've kind of laid out my, looks like a octopus arms here. <laughs> Just kind of laid those out so it's easy for me to see. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start knotting this and we're basically making a net to hold our treats for us. There's all different types of ways to make these knots. I'm just doing a simple kind of traditional knot. I'm not doing anything that's overly decorative or anything like that because this is gonna be going into the chicken coop. And honestly, I just wanna make sure it's gonna hold up. It doesn't really matter. I don't think the chickens mind what kind of knot we're using. So I'm just gonna use a traditional knot. The other thing is I really like using the macrame cord because I can kind of pull it really, really tight and I don't have to worry about it breaking. So that's, that's really important. So to make our knots, I'm actually just going to measure out about two inches from our knot here, and we're gonna knot these two pieces together. 
I'm just using my fingers like this <laughs> and that's how I'm going to make my weave. You can get your ruler out and actually start measuring if you'd like, but I found that especially with you're going to be putting so many knots on here, it is kind of easy just to use your fingers as your measurement. So you could do three if you'd like or two. I'm going to do two so it's a nice tight weave, but my flock can still get to the treat that's in the inside. So we're going to knot these just like this. So we're doing it kind of in the groups. We have four kind of groups here. So we're going to go ahead and make those knots. Before I tighten it, I'll double check that I'm still lined up and then give it a good tighten there. And we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. We have our first part of our net all knotted here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to alternate where our knots go. So I'm going to split this like this, trying to keep our rope pieces laying nice and flat. And we're going to pair up the sides that are next to each other. So we're going to go like this, like this, like this, and like this. So we're alternating our knots and we're creating kind of a little bit of a net here for our hanger to hold our treats. I'm going to again do the same thing. I'm going to bring these together, measure, and put a knot right here. So after we do that second row of knots, you can see that our treat hanger is starting to take form. We're going to repeat those knots. So now this time we're going to alternate again, go back to here, continue to knot up, and you want to go until your hanger is about six inches or so. So usually it's another four or five rounds of knots. And again, you can do however big you'd like. If you want a small one, just add a few layers of knots. Just remember that you're alternating your string every time you're adding those knots. And as you do that, you're going to see your treat hanger start to form. Here's what my hanger looks like after adding five rounds of knots. And I really like it like this. So some things to remember, if you want to be able to put bigger items in yours, so I'm specifically making mine to hold romaine lettuce and apples stacked on top of each other. So I did the two inch space here and it made kind of a long skinny type of hanger here. If you want to hang things like a head of lettuce, iceberg lettuce, then you're gonna wanna make this space here a little closer to three or four inches to be able to accommodate the size of the treat that you're going to be putting into your treat hanger. Again, this is why I really love this project because you can really customize it to your coop and your flock's favorite treats. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my treat hanger about this size here. It's about eight inches long. I'm gonna come up about six inches and I'm gonna grab all of these and we're just gonna do a big knot here. If you'd like, you can add a hanger here, but I'm just gonna knot it and attach my D hook in here just to make it easy for me to get it in and out of the coop. If I wanna change the hook at a later time, or even if I wanna hose this off, it just makes things so much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all these and we're going to make a big nut. This is why I like that macrame cord. I can really pull on it and I've left the link to the cord that I'm using in the description below. Just going to pull nice and tight. That's not going to unravel. I can kind of tighten it there. And here's our treat hanger. So our treats are going to go on the inside here. How cool does that look? And we're going to put our hook right in here, just kind of hang it up. To finish these edges here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these about an inch away from my knot. Any of these little frayed edges here, if you're using a macrame cord like this, if you're using another cord, you may not be able to do this. But if you're using a macrame cord like this, you can actually very carefully take a lighter and burn these edges here and these are not going to unravel and you don't have to worry about your chickens trying to eat the frayed edges of your rope. 
Here's what our treat hanger looks like with a treat on the inside. I love this. It's so incredibly easy to make and it kind of has a really fun vintage feel to it. There's plenty of space in our knot spaces here where the flock can get to the treat, but they have to kind of work for it a little bit, which is the point. I want this to be a really good boredom buster. You can put all kinds of treats in here, such as lettuce or apples, just things that are a little bit bigger and are going to sit in our net kind of shape that we've made here. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration to make your own treat hanger. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. I think it's time to take this out and let my flock enjoy the treat. Thank you so much for watching.